Ruth McDonald, housemaid. Pat Baker, secretary. Nathanway Thomas, barmaid. Good morning. Will you sit down? Thank you. I want to join the WAF as a balloon operator. Good. What is your age and occupation? 22. I'm a stenographer. You want to be a balloon operator, do you? Yes, I wanted to do something much more worthwhile than being a housemaid. But it's hard work, you know. Out of doors and all weathers and needs physical strength. Think you could stand it? Yes, it's that sort of work I want. Fine. And we want girls like you to release as many men as possible for other work. Before you start on your actual balloon site, you'll go for 11 weeks to learn how to repair and handle the balloons at a training centre in the country. to bring down a Nazi bomber every night of the week. What it will do is to make bombing inaccurate by keeping the planes high, and more important still, cut out low-level attacks and dive bombing altogether. Any general questions? Yes. What decides whether a balloon stays up or down? Partly the weather, but generally it's decided between balloon command and fighter command. Do you think you could repair a balloon yet? No, not yet. When do we use these emergency repairs anyway? Should your fabric get torn, when you've had orders to raise your balloon, you will carry out an emergency repair. You've got to know how to repair your balloon on the spot. Is that understood? Yes, sir. This knot's known as the reef bend. Everybody? Yes, is that right? That's correct. Now show me where it's used on the balloon. I think it's used there. That's correct. Right. I find it cuts a bit. Yes, well, of course, you will at first. But you've got to be able to learn to splice wire. Otherwise, you'll be in a bit of a fix if anything goes wrong when you get on your war site. When you are on your war site, you will have to maintain your winch. Can we see it work? Yes, just a moment. After you've gone around this model, we'll go outside and see the actual winch in operation. Start up, winch. Start up, winch.
How about coming to the camp cinema tomorrow night? No good, sorry. We'll be on duty for the next three weeks. I know practice war site. Well, you've now arrived on your practice war site. As you can see, conditions are not likely to be particularly comfortable. You'll have to turn out at all hours of the day and night in all sorts of weather conditions. You'll be half frozen. You'll bed your balloon in gales. You'll be ankle deep in mud. You'll be drenched with rain. If you get through this all right, as I know you will, you'll be ready for the worst sight in the whole country. You may be in a town among people, I hope you will be, or by yourselves in the country. But either way, the job is the same, and it is a vital one. War site 568. Get some handy guys, get some bags. Oh, this is too much like work before dinner. <laughs> That's all right, here's Russian bugs coming. Oh, thank heaven for that. Port fire well, ready. How's everything? Very well, thank you, ma'am. Good, the rations are just coming up. Oh, thank you. Got your dry rations. Thank you. Hello, Sergeant. Hello, where's Selby? She's up having tea with the people who have adopted her, Mrs. Jarvis. Well, thanks very much, Mrs. Jarvis. I've enjoyed myself a lot. That's right, my dear. Come along tomorrow and I have an absolute bath ready for you. Thank you. Bye, my dear. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.